Hi, this is Johnny Farty Pants, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a portable version of any software that you have using Portable Apps Creator 0.972 Beta. It's a freeware application, and you can download it from Johnny Farty Pants on page 5 of the freeware section. This is it here. You just click on the icon and that will take you to uploading.com where you just download the file. Now once you've downloaded the file it will be in a RAR archive so you just want to extract that quickly and also select an installer for an application that you would like to make a portable version of. And there it's there. A folder Portable Apps Creator 0972 Beta. And this is what you'll see inside the folder once you've unzipped it. You'll have a folder called App. You'll have a folder called Other. You'll have a readme.pdf. You'll have an internet shortcut to a piece of freeware called AutoWit version 3, which I'll explain later. You'll have a flash video file. Uh, it's a slideshow presentation from made by the author of this software and you'll have an application called Pack Compiler Portable Application Creator Compiler uh, This is the, an application that will actually pull all the different pieces of the application together to build the Portable Application Creator uh, but I'll get into that in just a minute Now the Portable Application Creator actually needs another piece of software to be on your computer for it to run properly uh, it's a free piece of software called AutoWit version 3 and basically you have three options. Your first option is you use the internet shortcut here to go to the download page and download the installer for this piece of software and install it onto your computer. The second option is you use this internet shortcut here to visit the website and download the portable version of that piece of software and unzip it to a folder, any folder and then when you run this pack compiler here, a uh, portable application creator compiler uh, that will actually scan your computer looking for these files and it will find files that's in a folder uh, that haven't been installed on your computer and the third option, the option I, I like to use is you just run the pack compiler uh, and what that will do is it will scan your computer looking for the files that it needs and when it doesn't find them what it will actually do is it will offer to connect to the internet and download the portable version of the software that it needs and also unzip the files from that piece of software into where exactly where they need to be for this application to run properly uh, and that's what I'm going to do right now There you go. The auto -it files were not found on your computer. Uh, now it's off on to connect to the internet. So I'm just going to allow it to do this one operation. Uh, do you wish to download auto -it version 3 SFX? That's a SFX archive, uh, a zip folder from the auto -it website now. Uh, it's about 6.5 megabytes, so it shouldn't take too long to download. Now it's downloaded the files that it needs uh, and is extracting the required files. This is all automated, you don't have to click anything, you don't have to select any options. As you can see, it's found the auto it files and now it's compiling and compressing Portable App Creator. You probably noticed that there's a, a new icon in this folder now, Portable App Creator, the blue icon. And this is just going to, this pack compiler icon will disappear and you'll be left with just the blue one. Now it's complete. Now the, the pack compiler has downloaded the files that it requires and it's added them to this folder here. Uh, and now you have the portable app creator. Now before you actually run the portable app creator, uh, what you want to do is plug a USB flash memory stick into your computer 
and take a note of the letter that your computer has assigned to this flash drive because that's where you're going to be installing the software. Uh, I've already put a flash drive onto my computer uh, and I know for a fact the computer has assigned it the letter E. Okay, drive E. Next. Now I want to locate the installer for the PC software that I want to make portable. Uh, I've got an installer here on my desktop. This part here compresses the software using UPX. It's entirely optional. Uh, it's just if you want to make your portable application smaller. Uh, just to save time, I'm going to un untick that. Uh, click next. Now it's a matter of take first shot. What this is doing is, is it's scanning my computer and having a quick look at the registry and the program files and stuff like that. Okay. Now it's had a look at my computer and it wants to install the application. OK. Please install the application on your portable device, E. OK, I will. OK, next. I fill in my serial number. I'm sorry that I'm covering up my serial number here. Uh, but I don't want to be accused of encouraging software piracy. Next. Here we go, destination folder. See, it's going to install it on my C drive, uh, but I'm going to put this on my E drive. It's the portable device, E. OK. And then next. Next. OK, press finish. OK, now that that's done, we click the next option, Get Shortcut Info. Get the location of the application to run. Uh, it's in Portable Device E. So browse My Computer, E Drive. As you can see, it's created a folder called Program Files. There's the piece of software here. There's the main EXE. Open. Uh, use the icon of the application to run. If that isn't already selected, you should really select that. Uh, just the same again, browse onto the main EXE, select that, save, and then next. Uh, open close. This option basically opens the piece of software that you've just installed, uh, so you can configure it to your own settings before you save it. Uh, there's nothing here that I really want to change. Take second shot. And what this is doing right now is it's scanning my computer. Uh, it's taking a good look at the registry and the program files and, and stuff like this. Okay, and that's that done. Uh, now you want to click process shots which is going to take the first snapshot and the second snapshot and compare them. And as soon as this button here becomes available next, you just click next. Sometimes you get this error message, don't worry about it, it's, it's not the end of the world. And there we go, done creating the portable app, Neutrodon Photoscore. Done. Okay, and if I just go over to my E drive, open it up, as you can see, there's a, a folder in here now called Program Files. Inside that is a, a folder with the application that I've just made. Here's all the, the files, the DLLs and stuff that this application needs to run. And if I just double click that, you can see it runs perfectly. Uh, no problems at all. I could take this flash drive and put it in anybody's computer and it will run just fine. Well. Thanks for watching my video and I hope you have fun with Portable Apps Creator 0.972 Beta.